The purpose of this lab was to find the empirical formula of the two combined solutions based on how much precipitate was measured. According to Wikipedia, the empirical formula of a chemical compound is the simplest ratio of atoms in that one compound. The solutions we used were copper chloride and sodium phosphate. The materials we used were some test tubes, a test tube rack, pipettes, sodium phosphate, copper chloride, a ruler, and a steering rod. We used the pipettes to grab samples of copper chloride and sodium phosphate. We then poured the solutions into the test tubes on the test tube rack. After, we used the stirring rod to mix the solutions together. Lastly, we used the ruler to measure the precipitate of each test tube. Our results were at test tube 1, the height of the precipitate was 20 millimeters. At test tube 2, it was 20 millimeters as well. At test tube 3, it was 26 millimeters. Test tube 4, 27 millimeters. Test tube 5, 27 millimeters. At test tube 6, 30 millimeters. And at test tube 7, it was 31 millimeters. I saw different shades of blue because some test tubes had more copper chloride than others. They were also different because copper chloride has a certain property that makes it more dominant in the mixture. We observed that our data was wrong. We understand why. The test tube with the volume ratio 3 to 2 should have the most precipitate because the precipitate formula was the same ratio.